creating an unrateable base in Rust. When I say that, you might think of those huge clan bases with china walls, Y gaps, turrets, and layers of honeycomb. But what if you didn't have to build all that? I found one of the most unique bases that make it nearly impossible to get raided. It's basically the same idea of the mathematically unrateable base, where you make the base as long as possible so that the raiders have no idea where your TC is. It would force them to raid through doors. And with three doors to choose from, with each of them going straight into an HQM bunker, just going through one of those doors would end up costing them 30 rockets. And that doesn't even guarantee they hit the right door to TC. So if the raiders are really unlucky, it could cost them up to 90 rockets to get to TC. And well, I'm going to be testing how this base performs in a real wipe. And I'm going to be doing it solo. All right, we are in. It is me, Jay Tellis, again, back with another video. But today we are going to be playing solo. I got a hell of a base I've seen on my recommended that I just could not pass up living in for a while. The base design's by Maverick, but you know, I did my own little kind of twist on the base and I am excited to live in this thing. But before we get to building and all that stuff, I just want to thank you boys for the amount of support you guys have been showing on my YouTube channel. I think it's been around six months now and we just hit 17,000 subscribers and geez, boys, I am grateful as f man i think it's around eight percent of the people who watch my videos are actually subscribed so if you are part of that eight percent i appreciate you guys a bunch and if you're watching my videos consistently and you're not part of the eight percent come on man help me out but enough begging for subscribers it's time for us to get over to where we want to live and uh, as you can see i was already on this server but yeah yesterday i forgot to hit the record button so we're trying to get but the base spot i got in mind is right by oil rig with that fishing village right there because i already have most of the bps i'll need for the wipe so i shouldn't need to be too close to a recycler so we're gonna be controlling oil boys or at least trying to as a solo <laughs> oh my god what the? Hey, dude, this guy's Robin Hood. Get me out of here. All right, well, I think that's enough barrel farming for me, man. Uh, it's time for the sponsor of today's video, Rust Clash. Rust Clash is an online gambling site with a bunch of fun game modes. They have case battles, Plinko, Upgrader, Mines, and even Jackpot. And well, these game modes give you the opportunity to win big. I'm rich! They also give away $25,000 every week through an on-site rain feature. So if you want to come try out the site and get some of that for yourself, you can deposit using any of these different methods and even get up to a 66% bonus when depositing. Plus, you can get a 5% bonus if you use my code, Jay Tellis by clicking the link in the top of the description. And once you're ready to withdraw, you can take it out in Rust skins or even crypto. But remember, boys, gamble responsibly and don't be stupid. All right, well, time to get across the map. Dude, these zip lines are kind of crazy, bro. They go all the way to the base spot. All righty. I think we have arrived at the last zip line. Yep, there's fishing village, boys. We made it. Dude, that is crazy. I rode zip lines all the way here, dude. All right, well, now all we got to do is get some base mats. All right, we should have enough for the starter now. It's only a two by one to start off with, so it's nothing crazy to farm up for. But now I just got to figure out where I want to put the base. I was thinking somewhere by the water, so let's go check out over there. Oh, God. It looks like there's a compound already here. Wait. No. It looks... It looks raided. Dude, we're good. We're gonna build our base right here. Screw it, dude. What are they gonna do? Kick us out? Damn, man. It's looking nice in here. All right, we got a little home going. We got our little light, our rug, everything, you know, right by oil. Look at that fishing right there, man. Come on, you cannot beat this base spot. I mean, being a little closer to a recycler would help, but there is military tons right there. And then we got outposts. Now that we got the base down, I wanted to spend some time farming up, but I'm gonna save you guys from watching all that farming and catch you guys back when I'm done. All right, so a little bit of progress has happened. I uh, The base is looking obviously a little different. I went into the decayed base and picked up all the deployables on the ground. And now all we need to do is go over to outpost 
grab some wood and then I can expand this base. All right, we have arrived at the out of the post. What are these kids doing? Pickles thing. Bro, you really think about pickles? All right, the wood is secured. Dude, am I even gonna be able to? Dude, this is gonna be a tight fit for this base, dude. I don't think it's gonna fit, man. All right, well, time to see if I can fit the base. Uh... Shit, it doesn't fit. God damn it, man. I'm gonna see what I could do. Well, I got it to work, but man, this is scuffed. I honestly, I think I'm better off just trying to build it somewhere more flat. Wait, low key, I could run out far as fuck. Dude, I might try to just fit it right here. Oh my God, dude, it fits perfectly. All right, well, now all we gotta do is upgrade this and add some walls. All right, it's time to see if we have enough stone for this. Shit. I didn't have enough. I can still transfer into this though. So that's what I did. I spent some time transferring all the loot out of the old base into the new one. And then I started to make my way over to Outpost to get some more farm for the base. But while I was heading over there, I noticed a shop with a deal that I just couldn't resist taking up. All right, I'll take a custom. I just gotta come in here and buy some bullets and then we're good. Burlap Bandit in the mini. Dude, there's no recyclers, bro. Come on, man. Morris, you're going to have to get pushed off now. Morris got a satchel on his side. Morris is going to lose his recycler. Morrison just got his freaking recycler. <laughs> Yo, I ain't cock monkey. <laughs> I'm a cock monkey. <laughs> I shall remember you, frog. I... Uh, Sorry, man. Survival of the fittest out here. I remember people. You remember me, man. Well, let's just say that isn't going to be the last time we see Morrison. But for now, I end up making it home with the custom. And not long after that, I hear the sound of a base breaking. Home sweet home. It sounds like stuff's decaying in there. Oh, I think it opened up this body. Now, at the time, I assumed that was a base owner because I didn't remember seeing that body in there earlier. But let's just say that person in there was waiting for something. Wait, what the hell? Oh. Oh, my God. Ugh. And all the tools. More tools. Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. Oh my god. Why 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 would this decay? Securing all this farm would save me hours of farming. But it wasn't long after me finding it that someone else had came across the base. Quack. Is that, that's the guy that was sitting in the base. Did the base owners just get picked on? I gotta get all this loot into my base. I got a feeling this guy's gonna be coming back because he probably seen what was in there. I think I'm gonna grab my custom and go and wait for him. A bolty? No shot, this guy brought a bolt. <laughs> yeah, he did. What the? All right, this should be the last of it. I managed to secure all the farm, and with all this, I'd pretty much have enough to finish the base completely. So that's what I did. And it is done. Pretty much. All I gotta do is get three turrets and then finish off all these beautiful towers, man. I also gotta get a ton of blades for the barricades. But man, this base is sick. At this point, we nearly had a completely finished base, but we didn't really have anything else to show for it. So I decided to go on a little roam around my area, and I ended up picking up a prototype from one of the guys. I hey, man. You. 
And then I decided I wanted to work on getting some cards so we could start running oil. The only issue was that water treatment was on the other side of the map. So this run was not going to be something that was easy. But I had a little bit of scrap on me. And I still needed a blue card in order to run water treatment. So I decided to take a little pit stop in Bandit Camp and try to gamble up to 100 scrap and buy one. And let's just say things went a little crazier than I thought it would. All right, here we go. We need a blue card. Three or five. Three or five, three or five, three or five. Yes! Oh my god, dude, that just paid. Holy. Now, I know I have enough for a blue card, but imagine I get up to a mini. I, I need a one or a five, one or a five. Please, please don't hit a three. Oh my god, oh my god. I'm at 500. All right, this might not be smart, but I, I only need to hit this. And if I do, I get a mini. Please, I need this mini. Oh my god, dude. This is the most nerve-wracking thing I've ever seen in my life. Uh, no. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy... 882 scrap. We got a mini, boys. With that scrap right there, we had enough scrap to buy a mini and a blue card. So I bought the blue card, went over to water treatment, grabbed the red, and then bought a mini. Dude, I cannot believe I just did that. And then was ready to go over to oil ring. But I remembered that I heard someone shooting off the MLRS rockets earlier. And since I didn't have many guns, I figured I'd go check if they F1 killed with a gun in there. All right, this is promising. Yes, a Tommy, bro. I need this. And now with our newly acquired Tommy, we went over to oil ring. All right, let's see. I mean, uh, uh. all right, here we go. Will the heavies bless us? Give me a juicer. Oh, you know that that's not bad. That's pretty solid. With that run, we got a ton of comps and some boom. And with having this mini, we'd be able to recycle. I meant with buying this boat, we'd be able to go over to cargo. Let me up. Oh my God. All right, crate has started. Oh, boat. my bloom there's no way that kid's alive i hit him like uh, what i think he died oh my god oh my god dude i'm wired now i got counter me this crit's about to open dude what are we thinking what are we thinking oh my god dude I suck with no hollow. I want to jump so bad, but I just, I can't. Oh, oh my God. Eh, that's not bad. Oh my God. Whew, we made it home. Dude, things have definitely taken a change in the last hour. Now, at this point, it was getting quite late, so it was time for me to finish off this base. I set up some turrets, finished off the towers, and then I sealed off the bunker. And now, we wait to see how this base holds up overnight. Oh, shit. Uh. Oh, shit. Someone tried to raid me. We got raided, but luckily I didn't call this the unraidable base for nothing. They ended up wasting their boom going through one of the wrong doors, and then when they hit the right one, they see the HQM bunker, and they just gave up. They did try soft siding around to find some weak spots, but this base just doesn't have any. Now the raiders seemed to make sure not to kill me while I was sleeping, but I guess they weren't too smart because one of them ended up logging off with spears on it. And let's just say, you're gonna want to keep a lookout for the clan tag CRR, because that's not the last time we're gonna be seeing his group. And things were peaceful around my base on day one. But let's just say day two, things definitely change. All right, well, time to patch up this base. And now that the base is all sealed up again, it's time for me to start off the day with a quick little farm. Uh, while I was out there, I ran into something pretty crazy. No shot he's seen me, right? <laughs> well, no, he did not see me. Poor guy. 
I'm gonna have to confiscate this custom. What the f oh, bro. Oh, dude, I just gotta get out of here, bro. I left so much shit, but I just gotta go. Now, I should have more than enough sulfur to raid. There's only one issue. I don't have a tier 3 workbench. So in order to get one, we're gonna need a lot of components. Luckily, cargo's out. The only issue is, someone's already on it. Alright, crate's on, so someone's definitely on here. HLMG. Dude, I don't think he has any idea I'm on here. He had no clue I was on, dude. Oh my god, he's loaded. Alright, well, free cargo, boys. Alright, well, I think we got it up for the tier 3 now. Now, all the loot from cargo was secured, but I didn't realize how much attention parking a rib outside my base would bring to it. Bro, someone's driving a rib right outside my base. What the fuck? Dude, what are these kids doing? What the f- You just shot an HP rocket at me! Dude, I don't even know who this kid is, bro. Now, I had no idea who those guys were, but I was pretty sure that they were coming to break my turrets to steal my furnace loot. And just in case they tried to come over and do that again, I was just gonna sit around and organize the base. But while I was doing that, I heard a raid close by. What the f- So- well, Bro! This guy's getting god satchel luck! Dude, I have never heard so many satchels go off at once. It, it's still going. Oh, this was it. They gotta come out at some point. Whoa, what? I was not expecting them to have an AK. Now, I may have been able to kill a few of them, but not one of those guys were the one who stole my AK, and I wasn't going to stop looking until I found it. Oh my god. They're going to be running over here now. God. Bro, I'm I'm stuck. Bro, bro. Bro. I knew they wouldn't find this. Now I may have got my AKs back and loot on top of that, but I officially have my raid target to use all my sulfur on. So I put my tier three workbench down and added barricades around the base while the sulfur was cooking. Then once I had all the rockets, I was ready to go over. But just before I left, we had a visit from an old friend. Hey, just want to know if you guys are going to be friendly with me or not. I'm the base that's closest to fishing village, a little boat base. Oh, you're that guy. 
I just got home from work. I've been at work since about hey man, 1 Hey, man, you're chilling. I'm solo, too. Don't worry about it. My name's Morrison in the game. All right, all right. I got you, Morrison. I'm Frog. What's your name? Frog. Oh, Frog. Morris, you're going to have to get pushed off now. I shall remember you, Frog. <laughs> Oh, uh, no, no, no. I'm not frog. We I'm not already frog. had an encounter, my friend. You, uh, you pushed me off the vet, off the recycler. Oh, uh, nah, you, you got me confused with someone else, Morris, man. That, that wasn't me. That must have been somebody else. You just said your name was Frog. No, 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 no. I said my name was Rob. Oh, okay. All right, Rob. If you're not Frog, then we're cool as shit, dog. All right, yeah. <laughs> If I run into that frog guy, I'll let you know that. I was know, AFK, but I was eating chicken, and I saw yeah. him start pushing me, but man, I've never seen anybody push so good. Like, three jumps, and I was off. <laughs> All right, well, Morris, it was nice talking right, to you. Are you cool? I'm cool. Yeah, 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 we cool. Dude, I completely forgot who the Morrison was. What are the odds he runs into my base, dude? Who's Frog? I've been robbed the whole time, I swear. All right, well, now it's time for Rob to go raid. So I grabbed up all the boom and headed over. All right, uh, where should I splash? Uh, I'm gonna splash here. All right, well, that's open. Thirty-seven. I'm gonna explode. Damn it, dude! I should have just shot him, bro. They have to try to finish it. I'm going back. I'm pretty sure they live in this space right here. Alright, I'm a depot and go back. After killing all them there, I didn't see them again for the rest of the day. But don't worry, because we'll be seeing them again real soon. And since there was no sign of them, I finished off the raid with no complications. Oh my god! And then, Heli came out, but my neighbors managed to take it before I had a chance. But I wasn't gonna let them get it without a fight. Alright, well, looks like it's time to go counter. Dude, how does he know I'm here? What the fuck? Shit, he's looting the crate. Dude, that, that was the worst boom I've ever had with AK. Jesus Christ, they're both on their roof now. I'm gonna hide the M2 and go try to find these other crates. Where are the other crates, bro?
All right, well, I've had enough of this roof camper, bro. I'm just gonna grab my shit and get out of here, bro. No way. Wait, that's one of the guys. Now you see that name and you might think that's familiar. Well, that's because that's one of the guys who tried to offline me on day one. What's he doing with a crossbow? I'm not sure. Is it gear fear or did they get raided? I don't quite have the answer to that just yet, but I do know after he stole my guns, he went into hiding because I spent over an hour looking for his base and there was just no sign of him. And after searching for all that time, it was getting quite late. So I had to get off and just take the L. But I was not expecting to wake up to this. Uh oh. CRR. Isn't that the guy who stole the M2 off me yesterday? And the guy who raided me, too. No way. I stole my beds. They didn't get in here. No way. They failed. Oh my god, we survived another offline. CRR failed another offline attempt on my base. This time they made it through the bunker, but once they hit the doors, they had no boom left. Now that means that these guys are targeting my base. Dude, they even changed the name of my shop. What the f- What did I do to them? And I needed to find where they live. And it's good that it doesn't take me too long today to find it. Oh my god, it's them. Now I found it. Overnight, they managed to set up their base completely. And this wasn't going to be an easy raid. So it's time for me to figure out who I'm going to raid. There's the guys who stole my C4 and just got off. The guys who roof camped me instead of fighting on ground for heli. Or the CRR clan. And of course, the main target is CRR. But I just wasn't sure I'd be able to get enough boom for their base. But that worry gets fixed with one conversation with a familiar group. Are you robbed? You are robbed. Okay, cool. There's a guy over towards the north looking for you. What? There's a guy towards the north looking for you. Is it one of these dudes? Wait, that's one of the guys who stole my C4. What are you looking for? Rob! Are you friends with the Russians? That's all, that's all I need no, to know, man. No, no, I'm not friends with the Russians. They raided me last night. Did they raid you too? Wait, they, they raided you too? Actually? Yeah, man. They put the same doors back on just to mock us. Well, I'm, um, so I'm planning yeah. to raid them right now. That's what, you're going to go raid them? Yeah, I, I'm planning to. Do you want a hand? Uh, Do you have any of that C4? Or did you lose it all? We were able to stash the boom. We were able to stash the boom. This is just what I needed. The guys who stole my C4 were having some trouble with the Russian guys too. And they uh, were looking to get them out the area. So with the rockets I've farmed and the boom they stole off me yesterday, we'd have enough to get rid of these guys. So we geared up and got ready to head over there. I missed the jump. That's not the way to Maybe we do just hit the first Dead. One second, let me go down for another. All right, TC, explode TC. Where is it? Oh, actually, I authed oh. Don't worry. All right, we're good. Okay, I'm gonna go peek that with. Uh, Let's go that door. Get our bags. Now we came over expecting an online because just 10 minutes before coming over, they killed one of us. There's a dude at the Russian base. What, what's his name? Uh. Mazakai. This was the little f***er that was on, bro. Why did he- How are you gonna get on and just get right off? I don't get it. But I don't really care about the offline because they failed offline to me twice now. But this raid isn't over just yet because the counters want to get in. Hey, can you just tell us if the loot is good? Oh, they're right again. Are they? Yeah, we, we should be fine. Unless these guys have a lot of rocks. Oh, this, this thing's at 88 over here. That's what they're shooting from. Pin the walls just in case. Did we clear TC? Yeah, 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 yeah. Going through top. Yeah, we, we oh, should be uh, fun from come top. Over to me, uh, over where I am is not the most sealed. Oh. 
desperation is cute. I think we're good. If you guys want to try to get in here, there ain't enough loot for the both of us. Very true. I guess I'll have to take it all. I mean, if you got enough rockets to get in here, go ahead. I don't know if I'd be so confident about that, buddy. Okay. Alright, I think they're breaking the ceiling now. There we go. Oh, really? <laughs> Shit, these dudes really want to get in here. They're coming in through the side of the wall. Fuck. Still coming. Wait, wait, wait. Come up here. Come up here. I got an idea. Come, come, come. Watch out, watch out. Aha, we're perfect. Now they can go through. I'm gonna place a bed down and then I'm gonna F1 kill and try to clear them out. I got ceiling mats on me, so if anything, I'll just seal them in there. They probably have no boom left anyways. They kind of know what direction we're gonna be coming from, but... Yeah, that's all right. I killed him. Go, motherfucker, go. I fell. I did too. <laughs> we successfully raided CRR and we defended the raid from the counters. And well, they were loaded. Dude, the Russians did go a little crazy. Their base wasn't even as strong as I thought it would be, so we had some extra boom left over. And I remembered there was a certain base that sat on their roof, roof camping me over and over again. So I figured we'd go give them an online. All right, I'm running up naked for you right now. Me too. Watch roof if you can. Shit, this wasn't their wraparound. I'm watching roof right now. You want some HVs? Wait, come here, boost me up. They're about to come up. That one. I got nades for you if you want them. No, 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 I'm chilling. They're coming down to you guys right now. Yeah, kill him. All right, I killed him, he opened. Yeah, All right, that was my last rocket. How many rockets do you have? Uh, zero. We are, we're not gonna have enough. Oh my God, I'm dead. Oh. All right, they're all dead. Dude, the only way we get into this base is if they open doors. Dude, there's oh an AK God, kit outside. Are you guys almost back? Oh, I'm fucking dead. Oh, 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 he's he's running. He's swimming away. You guys got that? You're good to go in. Oh, he's left side, left side, left side. Got him. All right, we could be up to three doors away from Gore, dude. There's no way we have enough for this. Yeah. Okay. Are you guys gonna like actually defend your base, or are you guys just gonna sit in Gore? What are you talking about? We're defending. At this point, it was like the Raiders gave up defending their base because they just locked themselves in the core and were waiting for us to come in. So it gave me time to go back to base and get a few more rockets. And while I was doing that, they opened a few more doors for us. Yeah, All right, boys. Not. Well, <laughs> I just want you to know that we did not have enough rockets for this raid. <laughs> the mom killed him through the door. You killed him through the wall? Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> okay, I'll just watch the breach. So. I could have done that. I've had a molly on me the whole time. Ah, of course. They're despawning all their loot. <laughs> time to take a little peek. Oh my god. Dude, they were fucking loaded. 